Brother Intume, uh, the movie we saw today, it was quite apparent that in the 1970s, the black power and the civil rights movements heavily influenced black artists. We don't seem to see that today. What happened between then and now that has depoliticized most black artists? Well, first of all, you have to, we have to always be aware of, of this reality. Art draws from society, okay, and, and I always kind of looked at society as a thermostat. The art that comes from it is, is, is the thermometer. It tells you what the temperature is. So right now, you have a thermostat, you know, metaphorically in terms of the, the uh, black community where politics have been reduced, education has been reduced, we have a confusion of leadership, uh, and we're compounded with so many things. So you don't have the context to draw that kind of music. Every music grows out of the context of what's happening in society at that time. So right now, you're in a period where it is not very creative. I mean, w would you say that we're in a very creative period? You know, co collectively? Uh, so that's, what, that's one of the things you, 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 you're, you're dealing with. The other thing is, I'm, I'm an eternal optimist. I always believe that eventually it will turn around. And I think you will see it. It won't come in the same form, nor should it. But as the consciousness grows and as the society begins to be clearer, we be more defined about our culture. And I don't know why she left that door. <laughs> you just edit that. <laughs> Fuck. I, that's why I shut the door for No, she put the thing at the bottom. The, 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 the stop. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Action. Um, yes, <laughs> but, 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 but that is the reality, you know. You don't have that because the social fabric isn't there to draw it from at this point. But something will emerge. I mean, look, rap and hip hop emerged, you know, but right now it is facing, you know, every art form has got to look in the mirror at some point. And something that is creative at one point, once it becomes redundant, it is no longer creative. And I think rap and hip hop in a minute is going to have to start looking at itself because there's a lot of redundancy in that. One more thing, um, the recent violence in Chicago, and as you know, unfortunately, <laughs> is off the hook. Of course, uh, in most places where uh, many of us are African Americans are. But I want to ask you concerning the Chief Keef and Little Jojo beef. How do you feel about these hip hop beefs that have been taking place for the past several years? Yeah, but that's been going on forever. Uh, unfortunately. They're only focusing on that in Chicago because right now Chicago leads the nation in murders. And Chicago has so many microscopes on it uh, that that becomes the focal point. I, I don't look at that beef any different than any of these other beefs out here. But let, let, me, let me modulate. I'm more concerned with the fact that you have a president of the United States who's black who will run every time some white kids are killed Okay, he ran to Arizona, he, he ran to uh, uh, Connecticut, and as he should, it's, it's a national tragedy. But I want to know why he never comes to acknowledge any deaths of any young black kids. Thousands of our kids die every year. He's not said a word about urban violence. Uh, and I think in particular what just happened a few days ago, a young, uh, a young sister who performed at the inauguration mm -hmm. was murdered. I don't hear anything from him, and I'm, I find that very disturbing because the, one of the main, you know this better than anybody, brother, we, we've talked about this in endless hours, you and I. How is it that the black president of the United States can't show something, some remorse for young black kids? And I felt really insulted at the press conference he just had. Now, I know this is not the question you asked me, but this is what I want to deal with. He showed the white parents, as he should, who we brought down from Connecticut, they lost a daughter. Horrible. He did a press conference. Now, we got thousands of black kids dying every year. And he talks about how they gave her, gave him a picture that she drew. He hung it up in his office. And he thinks about that little girl every day. Fine. Why couldn't he have brought one black parent who has suffered the loss of a child? In some cases, two or three children. He shows no Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I just had to say that, and I could just end it with that, but our indifference 
to what's happening with our kids, man, is, is crazy. And that's part of the fabric I'm talking about. It's all part and parcel. Well, Brother Ntume, we do thank you. I hope you. I didn't uh, digress too far from uh, uh, Brother Ntume, you, would, you <laughs> what you would, wanted. Uh, brother Ntume, you're being Brother Ntume, and we, uh, we've learned to uh, deal with that, and we have no problem with dealing with that. We thank you for joining us. All right, brother. Thank you. My pleasure.